Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Forever and ever. I want to say happy Easter to all of you once again, my lovely ones, the one that loved Jesus. I want to say happy Easter to happy resurrection. All right, so I want to say thank you very much for subscribing to this channel and for always for always checking on the channel and all your love and your comments. I see, I see all of them and I want to say a big thank you and God bless you all so much for being part of this channel and for to as men that will still join the channel. I say you are welcome and God bless you. All right, so I want to give a short message, an Easter message for you to to understand something that you do not know before. I want to talk on the this Easter message. This Easter message, I want to talk about it. Easter is a time that the whole world understands that one man, Jesus, the only man, the only one that defeated death, he died and he rose from the dead. And he, 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 the key of life and death is in his hand. So that's why we celebrate Easter year in remembrance of the great work of salvation that he have, uh, he have done for, for me and you, for mankind. And to us men that we still hear this great, great news, this great thing that he did and give their life to him. But I want to pass a message to you, you believer, you that is reading Bible, reading the word of God, that will not understand some things. I want you to understand some simplicity, simplicity that's in Christ Jesus. What I want you to understand is that the, 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 the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary and his resurrection bring perfection into our life. Into our life. Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want to tell you the meaning of love once again, as I receive from God. Love means. The meaning of love is bringing, bringing the imperfect, the imperfect to perfection. Bringing the imperfect to perfection. Jesus came to bring us, me and you, from the imperfect, imperfect state that we are to perfection. This is the meaning of love. Love mean, means bringing the imperfect to perfection. You that's always looking at people that is perfect to, 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 to belong to. You are always looking for perfect people to show love. You are, are mistaken. You are, you are making the mistake. You are making a mistake. Here is a mistake. You that is always looking for a perfect man or a perfect woman to marry. It's not, it's not love. Love means bringing the imperfect to perfection. Let me give you something now. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world. The world, even at, the, at this moment, is in, in imperfect, still, and still in the imperfect side. The world is still imperfect. But only when they come to the true love, they, they come to the true love of God, they receive the true love of God, they become perfect. They are heading to perfection. When you give your, once you give your life to Jesus, you are marching into perfection. You are, you are walking in the path of perfection. He, his law begin to correct you. His word begin to, his word begin to direct you. His word begin to shape you. His word begin to remove you into, into perfection, into perfect, perfect image, into, into perfect Perfect a, 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 a life that he wants from you. When you give your life to Christ, when you give your life to Jesus, the next thing he begins to do is to make sure that every imperfection you become perfect. Like, as I said to you, that the whole world, even Adam, as I'm talking to you now, is still not perfect. But when the world surrender to the love of God, to the love of Jesus, when they surrender to what Jesus has done for mankind, the world become a better place for me and you. The word of God begin to shape and begin to 
to remove, begin to redirect, begin to 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 to, to reshape in the world to the perfect will of God, to the perfect way that God want, want the world to be. In the church of Jesus Christ today, we don't see this love again because this is the love that can bring perfection to, to, to life. And you understand that Jesus died for sinners. He came to die for sinners. Me and, and you, we are once a sinner, but through the death of Jesus, we become righteous through our faith, through having faith in him. His blood washes us, cleanses us from every from righteousness. Now, one thing I want you to understand is that you as a believer, as a child of God, you don't need to be searching for people that is perfect to show the love of God. You need to search for imperfect people because Jesus came to die for sinners. He came to die for prostitutes. He came to die for, 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 for armed robbers. He came to die. For 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 for, for a, a, a dupers, he came to die. For for liars, he came to die. For people that is drawn in sin, in deep sin, he came to bring them out of that that a, a, a useless state they are. He came to bring them out of the imperfect imperfect state they are. That imperfect state that they are to perfection. So the love of Christ. In all, supposed to search for people that is imperfect to the love of God to bring perfection into their life. This is the work of the so people that call and say pastors that's what they're supposed to be doing. But instead, they will tell you that you can never be perfect. They condemn you in your imperfect state, telling you that they are the one that is perfect that can hear from God, that can pray for you, that can that can that, that, that they, are, they are the only one that's in right standing with God. So they don't want you to be a perfect, but it's a lie. You can become perfect when you give your life to Jesus and begin to walk in his ways and begin to read his word and begin to practice his word and put it into practice. When you put the word of God into practice, you become perfect. So any man or any woman telling you that you cannot be perfect is lying to you. You can be perfect. Perfection is only in the word of God. Perfection is only in the in the love of God. When you receive the love of God, when you understand what Easter is is, 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 is all about, Easter means bringing the imperfect to perfection. This is what I understand about Easter. Easter simply means bringing the imperfect to perfection. Somebody who is smelling and saying. Jesus came to die for you. Somebody out there that's a prostitute, Jesus came to die for you. He loves you. Somebody there that is a, a, a false star, frauding people to a laptop, to Jesus came to die for you. He wants you to come out of that imperfect state that you are, to become perfect. Somebody out there that is living a lion lifestyle, Jesus loves you. He came to die for you. He needs you to come out of that imperfect state that you are and give your life to him and become perfect. Somebody out there that is, 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 is worshiping pastor, Worshipping fake pastors, Jesus came to die for you in that imperfect state that you are to bring you to perfection. Somebody that you think that giving to the pastors will bring you that, that, that will send you to heaven. You are still one of the sinners. He came to die for you to bring you from, from, from that imperfect state that you are to perfection. So all these are the purpose of Christ coming to die. And this is what we celebrate. We celebrate every year. We call it Easter. You are celebrating the perfection that Christ came to bring back to mankind through his death and the resurrection from the dead. So this is what I want you to understand, that this is what the love of God is all about. The love he gave to me and you through his son Jesus is to bring us again from imperfect state that we are to perfection. As you hear this word, stop searching for the righteous people to show love. Search for sinners to show them love of God. Show them the love of God that will bring them to know who Jesus is and to turn them from their imperfect state to perfection. Especially you that is hunting pastors, washing his undies, washing his cars, thinking that you are going to make heaven. You are lying to yourself. Seek for the word of God. Seek for the love of God in your life. And receive the love of God in your life. The pastors is running their own race. After after they finish their all their all their all their useless things that they are doing, they were good, they're going to give account to the maker, to the owner of life. Likewise, you stop believing the word of a man, believe the word of God. 
said the word of God. Let the Holy Spirit God give you the revelation of, of who Jesus is. This is my Easter message to all of you out there. I want to say a big thank you for listening to this message and for spreading it. And I say I love you from the bottom of my heart. Love you so much. And I, I keep praying for all of you all over the world. All you believers, I keep praying for all of you to get yourself ready for the Master Jesus. Get yourself prepared. Give your life to Him. Let Him take away every imperfection in you and cause you to stand perfect for Him alone. Have a blessed day.